guys are in this nigeria the more you look the less you see everyone is just confused everybody's confused some people are finding the ember of war ember of an ethnic war and what have you you know you hear politicians saying all manner of things even a lot of people are buying into it we know that some people are calling for the separation of this country and the people who started this whole thing are the uh, Igbos, the Biafrans. But it's not everybody from Southeast is supporting this because those politicians on their own. When you come recently, maybe this issue of a Yoruba nation has been on ground, but it just came to limelight again. And when people began to listen to this a Yoruba nation was when Igbo came up with this thing. Because this issue of a Yoruba nation, of course, it has been there, but people were not really too but as soon as Igbo came for the uh, to rescue majority of the farmers and some people who are going through a lot going going through hell from the hands of all these full lanes who are not aligned who are not aligned the of course I think the thing has been minimized I don't know you know from the look of things this issue of a uh, full yes men this and that you know it has really minimized and they are coming with a different strategy. It was after Igbo came up and began to talk about, no, they have to leave because this is getting too much. The governors, the politicians are not saying anything. The traditional rulers were not saying anything. Everybody was just on their own. But the people who are bearing this bronze, the more, are the commoners. And when Igbo came and people said, yes, thank God, we didn't see anybody. The people who were elected, who were politically or democratically elected, because that is what they always tell you that... All these uh, Igbo and Namdekano, they are non-state actors. So who gave them that right? You are not, you are not doing normal. You expect this to work fine. But at the end of the day, when Igbo, you know, was able to do that, which he did concerning the, especially that one that they call uh, the Seriki of uh, Oyo or whatever, they relocated that man, they left, they, you know, they moved that man from that uh, location because it's like he was the one who was giving all these uh, Fulani Esme and the kidnappers and what have you, giving them opportunity to be able to thrive not until when it was moved from that uh, location i think you know your seats ibona came with this a uh, issue of a uh, urban nation which i know that urban nation has been there but it was not really too too obvious people were not really looking at it they just people, people were just like hey, oh this uh, what is urban nation but when ibona came oh they now say yes this guy yes he has been able to come up and able to stand for the yoruba people in terms of uh, this fulani s men killing people left right and center and people now started having you know the whole thing gaining grounds and all of that at the end of the day see what they did to him but now the what the, the worst part of it now is that people are now saying some of the people from the southwest because of this election now because if you see the way things are going now those who are talking about a separation or division of this country they have been the people from the southeast and they have been on it for a very very long time and they have suffered enough but because of uh, the way election has really come up now people article people now say oh yes the nigeria has already divided itself article from the north um obi from the southeast and tinubu from the southwest they say ah opportunity that means the country has already divided itself and people are going to be voting along like along a religious and ethnic line but like i said from the beginning the problem we have in this country the more you look the less you see nobody everyone is confused this one will come and say this this one will come and say that like me i said no need to tell anybody vote for this or don't vote for this one whatever you are facing is what you are going to get and i've said it several times even the so-called Igbo and Enamitan who are calling for separation of this country they are the one they are the patriots in this country they are so patriotic, but all those ones, all those politicians who are shouting one Nigeria, and some of you who do not even understand what they are saying, one Nigeria because it's benefiting them, but it's not benefiting you. Yes, with all the things we have on ground, we're supposed to work for our advantage. It's supposed to be for to our advantage, but reverse is the case because very few people are benefiting from this whole thing. And now, because politicians and people are a lot of people are just, you know, if you see the, the rivalry between, I don't even understand when it comes to this politics between the Igbos and and uh, this is whether that because uh, this whole thing is now gearing towards uh, the way the candidates where they came from or where they come from, as the case may be. Yorubas don't want to hear Igbos, uh, they will tell you that uh, Lagos is a no man's land, this and this and that. Oh, you know, because of policies, people are saying all of all of all manner of things, even the so called 
the political, the candidates of those uh, parties, especially, I, I think it's only one person, we should not even generalize, it's uh, Tinubu himself that is talking, you know, he's, he doesn't talk with wisdom. He doesn't talk with wisdom. And he didn't just start now. He started from, 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 for a long time. Now, some people are saying, oh, a vote for you, uh, Peter Obi now, or his vote for, they will collect, they are going to collect Lagos, so they are going to take over Lagos, so Lagos that has been taken over. The people who want to even leave this country, because some people have even, have even linked uh, Peter Obi candidacy with an uh, iPod or whatever, which to me does not make sense. It does not make sense. Uh, Obi has not even been relating with uh, iPod members. If, if somebody like, uh, what is it called? Somebody like, um, um, what's this machine? This senator Abari B. If he's the one that is coming at a hey, you know, he was the one that stood shorty for Namdi Kano. You say, hey, he has a affiliation with uh, this thing, <laughs> but when you talk about a uh, Namdi Kano, I say, when you talk about a uh, oh, Peter B, he has not linked it because he has not even been saying anything concerning them. Even some people are even even co complaining that this man even did this to die for this and that. I, you know, the problem of this country is something else. But my major concern now is that they are telling us that, uh, oh, any vote for Obio, hey, they are going to take over Lagos because some people have been saying that uh, Lagos is no man land. No, no, you can't say Lagos is no man land. He respects it with uh, anything. If we are talking about restructuring, and some people are blaming a... Uh, Afeni Ferry for even endorsing Obi that, oh, he was talking about restructuring, he was talking about restructuring. Now he's not talking about a, a, a endorsing Obi that he has deviated. I don't understand. And it is, it's, a, it's a complex situation we have on our hands. We have a urban nation who want to live, which, of course, if things are not going well, if you are doing something over and over again and it's not bringing any results, just like we, they will tell you, oh, we don't need to divide because we have a population we have this and when but we are not using it it's not to the advantage of the many of many nigerians but just to the advantage of few people if we are doing one thing over and over again at the end of the way is the country the country is nowhere once you are doing something over and over again and you are not getting the desired results what do you do you 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 change cause if division of nigeria is going to be fine good and fine let everybody go their own separately because we are not even united in the first place if we are united all this issue of a uh, division or separation will not be there. The ones that are in or uh, 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 in at the end of her they don't want to do normal. You want to be doing rubbish, and you expect people to be saying that uh, we have to stay together. And you can imagine the statement made by Bauchi governor one time saying that all the full are in the whole world, they are Nigerians. You can imagine that. And you want to use the taxpayers' money from the Nigerians who are paying taxes to use it to fund this uh, livestock of a thing. So the the problem is complex. So the issue of a uh, uh, when Obi becomes president, that the Igbos will take over Lagos, it's laughable. Because the people who really want to leave Lagos, people who really want to leave Nigeria, the people who are really serious, the people who are supporting this uh, division, who are so patriotic about the division of this country, are the Igbos. Are the Igbos. And again, let everybody vote for anybody we want to vote for. Because the issue of uh, Afeni Ferry too, if you look at it, if there's no country, if there's no, if there's no, if there's no, if there's no government or president who does not believe in restructuring, how do you get restructuring? Because they are blaming Afeni Ferry that why did he go and join a, a, a Obi or endorsing Obi? Who is going to? I don't know whether Obi himself whether he believes in restructuring. I don't know because anybody who wants to believe in restructuring, because what uh, Debanjo is talking about is uh, all about letting Nigeria, let Nigeria be one, but we have to restructure this country. You talk about restructuring, the northerners don't want it. You talk about the division, they say lie, lie. You talk about equity, they say no. So what are we living for? Why are we together? Why are we together? A lot of things are happening that the people do not even understand. Even people who know too, they will believe that it's, it's, it, you know, the whole process is cumbersome. This issue of urban nation, urban nation is cumbersome. The issue of IAPOB or Biafra is cumbersome because the politicians will not want it. They don't want it. But I don't know what the extent of what they want to get that will be enough for them that is making them because it's all about their stomach infrastructure. It's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. The problems are so cumbersome. But the idea of if it will be enters it's going to take over Lagos for where? Who, who does that? Unfortunately, the so called traditional rulers in all, especially I don't even want to talk about the Northerners because I don't even know much about them. 
But when you talk about the South, all those traditional rulers, all of them, they are under all these politicians, all these traditional rulers. They don't have say. So that's why anywhere they left it. See, the other day, Tinubu went to go and visit uh, Obasanjo. One of the monarchs followed him. Ordinarily, the monarchs are supposed to be neutral. But is it not the politicians that are paying them? So they have to work with the politicians. Politicians, if you have uh, people who... We have honestly, some of them will come and say one thing, and another about what they are doing is different from what they are saying. So that is just it. Until when we, I don't know because the other thing, some people will just be going this side, some people will be going the other way. When you try to explain to some things to some people, just you need to be selfish individually. Just be selfish. What these people, these processes, and this uh, this way they are going at the end of the day. So who say? benefits just to feel the readers if anything they are doing is not to your own benefit because you can't be lying the politicians will come they will say we're going to do this we're going to do this we're going to do that at the end of the day what happens they get there they will begin to tell you different stories those who say they are not going to support to be because uh, politicians are the same are you going to blame them because the expectations they had on buhari see where it has landed see where it has led everybody so now, so the question is that now, so we go the day. What is the way forward? A lot of people they jack by now. A lot of people just they say, okay, if I cannot beat them, I join them. So that's just the way it is. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.